as you see that right now it is active and it is running so if you just go to here refresh the panel you will see that it's already there so it works hello guys i decided to record a small series about monitoring the infrastructure or our servers at the end of this series you will be able to configure prometheus node exporter and the grafana to monitor your servers so this video will be the first part of the series and today we are going to learn how to set up prometheus so i have prepared a small guide about all the steps all the instructions that i'm going to use in this video so i think you can use this guide to find all the instructions and the commands as well so you can access this guide by visiting the link that i posted in the description section so you can use that link okay let's just start so i will be creating a new virtual machine in google cloud but actually you can use any local machine it doesn't matter but just for your information google gives you free credits in an amount of 300 usd so you can easily create an account and start using your free credits right now i am in the youtube tutorials uh, project i created this project before so i will be creating a new vm in this project so from the main menu you can use compute engine and from here you can use vm instances so here we are going to create a new instance just click this button create instance let's give a name to our instance so in my case it will be prometheus centos centos i will be using centos distribution but it doesn't matter you can use any distribution so maybe some commands will be a bit different but overall the process is the same and the region i will choose finland which is closest to my place and then for the machine type uh, medium is medium like provides one to two cpu uh, but actually for our case the small is enough so i will choose the small one and then from here boot disk i will change right now like as a default it uh, provides you uh, debian linux but i will change it to centos and the version let's choose the last version centos 9 okay i think that's it select so let's just add some firewall rules so that's it you can just click this create button and it will create your new instance it's already created and we are going to access this prometheus centos vm by using the ssh let's use opening browser window so we'll connect this uh, vm let me just set up my root password so i will be using sudo passwd now my root password is set up and i will be switching to root user so so dash okay now i am root user so this is our vm and we are going to install our prometheus in this vm so as a first step we are going to install our binary file so let's open this link and here you can see that there are a lot of ways to install your prometheus server uh, but for the sake of simplicity i will be using binary files so latest stable version is here i'm just copy this link copy link address and in your terminal you can use a vget and the paste the link that you copied and press enter okay it says vget command is not found because it's a new vm and we we didn't install this vget command yet so i'm just going to install it um install vget our installation is complete now we can install our zip file so we'll be using vget and then paste the 
the link address that you just copied, press enter. Let's clear the screen and let's do ll. So here we have this zip file. As a next step, we are going to create Prometheus directory and then we are going to extract our zip file to this directory. Let's do that. So this is our new directory and we are going to use tar and we are going to extract our Prometheus to this directory you can use C option and then just put your directory name and press enter it is done let's go to our directory now we have this folder let's go to there and let's clear the screen So that's it, we just installed our Prometheus server. So right now we need to start it. So starting the Prometheus server is very simple. You just need to start this executable file. It's called Prometheus. So let's do point dash and our file name and then press enter. As you can see that it is already started and it says that it will start listening for connections, address, this and port 1990. So just keep in mind that Prometheus will always use this 1990 port as a default. So you can change it later, but right now it uses this 1990. Prometheus server is started and you can access this user interface, Prometheus user interface by visiting the localhost if you uh, installed the Prometheus server in your local machine, you can visit localhost. So here we can use this localhost. So it doesn't work in my case because I used Google Cloud uh, virtual machine. It's not in my local machine, so I cannot use this localhost. But instead of that, I can use the external IP of my instance, my virtual machine. So if you go to the Google Cloud, you will see that we have internal IP and external IP. Just copy this external IP. It will not work here as well. Before using this port, you have to create some firewall rule that will allow this port. So I already explained here that if you use local Linux machine and distribution, you can use these commands to allow this port. But in our case, we use Google Cloud. Our virtual machine is on the Google Cloud. So we are going to follow these steps. So let's just go to the Google Cloud and from the main menu you can use VPC network and here you can see the firewalls, click on that. These are the all firewall rules that is already added in your uh, instance. So we are going to create a new firewall rule. So create firewall rule, click on this uh, button. And let's just give a name. So it will be Prometheus port. And then everything will be live as it is, but in the targets, we have to choose all instance network and IP before we are going to use 0, 0.00 and 0. And now we have to specify our port. So it will be TCP 9090 and then just click this create button. So it is successfully created. So we successfully create this uh, firewall rule. Now, if you can go to here and refresh the page, as you see that it's already loaded. So we just allow this 9090 port and now it is accessible. In the expression tab, you can use up command. It will list uh, all the VMs, all the instances that you have. And of course, if they are up, so let's execute this. So right now we only have one VM, one virtual machine. And since the Prometheus runs on this VM, so it will display only this message. Like our local host is up. 
if we add IP addresses of the other VMs, other virtual machines to the configuration file of the Prometheus, it will display uh, those VMs as well. So, but we'll add another instance when we install node exporter in part two. But for now, it is enough. And you can also use metrics. You can also, I mean, you can just uh, look at your metrics by using this link. So after here, you just need to put metrics endpoint and click enter. So these are the metrics that exposed by Prometheus. Let me just visit our guide once again. So, okay, now we just completed installing our Prometheus web server. But the problem is, if you notice that right now our terminal is just kept by running this Prometheus, uh, Prometheus command. So Prometheus, we, if we need to start Prometheus, then we have to uh, keep this terminal running. But it's not a proper way to do that. Like if you just use control C to use other commands, let's say that I just want to list all the directories that I have. For example, I just need to use LS. So in order to use LS, you have to stop your Prometheus server because otherwise it will keep your terminal running and you cannot use it. So that's why it's better to add our Prometheus as a system D servers. And if you go to the Prometheus web UI, and if you click the ref refresh button, and you will see that it, it doesn't work because we already stopped our service. It's not a proper way to start and stop your service. So it is better to set up your Prometheus as a system D service. So I already put some uh, descriptions, all the instructions in this guide. So this is just optional. You don't need to follow these steps, but if you want to use systemd, then you can use these steps as well. So as a first point, we need to create a Prometheus user, the directories, and we'll make our Prometheus user as the owner of these directories. You can just copy all these command and go to your terminal and just paste it here. Let's clear the screen. And then in the third step, it says that copy Prometheus and Prom tool from the extracted directory. So this is just uh, this is just some files that is related to Prometheus, and we are just going to copy those to to the main uh, directory that that is really used by Prometheus systemd service. So just copy that and paste it here. And then we are going to copy these directories as well. And by the way, if you notice that we make our Prometheus user as the owner of these directories and these files as well. So let's just copy this one and paste it here. It is done. Okay, now we just copied all the files, all the directories that are needed. Now we are going to create our Prometheus service file. So service file, it is located in system D, system directory. Let me just show you that. So if you do ls, or maybe we can use ll, etc, system D, system. And here we have some kind of different servers. For example, uh, Let's just open one of them. For example, dbus service. Let me just open it. I will be using v editor. And let's open this service. So this is a like sample of the any service file. So these like overall there they look like the same, but it can be different in some cases. So we are going to create a service file that's similar to this one. Okay, let's clear the screen. Let's just copy this line. And it will create 
the service uh, like is the name of parameters.service so it will create this file and we are going to paste and we are going to copy this content and then paste in the that file the parameters service file copy this one go to here click i like press i letter in your keyboard to go to the insert mode and then just control v or command v if you are using mac so that's it let's save it dash w it will save this parameters cut service parameters service file let's see that if it is really created you can just copy this one and use hello so it is now created and let's just check the contents of the file okay it is here and that's it we just create our service file and as a next step we need to reload the system the service because like what we did here we just created a uh, system d service so that's why we need to reload our daemon let's copy all the commands here just click enter so it is done so the first command will reload the daemon and the second command will enable prometheus service so it means that it will start prometheus service at boot time you don't need to start your primitive service after your virtual machine restarts so you don't need to do that and the last command just start our primitive service and we can also check the status of service so we'll be using system cattle then status and our service name so it will be prometheus click enter as you see that right now it is active and it is running so if you just go to here refresh the panel you will see that it's already there so it works it works let's just stop our service let me clear the screen and to stop the systemd service you need to stem ctl and stop your service and if we go to this user interface again and if we refresh the panel you will see that it doesn't work because we stopped our service and if we start it again refresh the panel and you will see that it just started and it works so that is the like very easy way to start any service so it is better to add your Prometheus service as a system D service. That's it for today's video. In the next video, we are going to set up our node exporter.